Na 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 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Heroes in a Half Shell Turtle Power Somebody pinch me I feel like I am 8 years old Man Batman and the Ninja Turtles are coming to Blu-ray And I could not be more excited Let's talk about it right now Here on Comic Universe. What's up guys and welcome to the world's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the Comic Universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in nerd culture and I should know. I've read it out myself. So what's up universe? As you can see I'm riding solo here on this one. And you know we're doing kind of a uh, go around where all of us here at Comic Universe talk about this momentous occasion, which is the coming together of two titans of comic book history, which is, of course, the Dark Knight himself and the Heroes in a Half Shell. As I said in the intro, I cannot believe this is happening. Now, I read... The crossover comic that James Tinian wrote uh, a couple years ago, or maybe it was last year, I don't remember. Um, I read both. I know he did one, and then he, there was a sequel to it. Um, but uh, those were awesome, and I was like, oh man, this would be so good as an animated movie. And then I hear that it's actually going to happen, and that blew my mind. But, you know... Nothing really sinks in until you see an actual trailer, and the trailer is out, and I could not be more hyped. See, because the cool thing about the Ninja Turtles is every generation has their own version of the Turtles, right? So, my dad has, like, the one from the 80s, um, the classic Ninja Turtles, the old cartoon, and then... Um, you know, the, the version of the Turtles that I would consider my version of the Turtles would be the 03 Ninja Turtles. You know, the Turtles counted off. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That Turtles is the one I would consider my Ninja Turtles. That's the one I grew up with when I was, like, 8. So, like, you know, that those 03 Turtles definitely have a special place in my heart with all, like, the Utrons and all that cool stuff. I thought that was really cool. Um, and then, of course, I mean, my little cousin, his version of the Ninja Turtles is probably, like, the best one, if we're being honest here. And that's, like, the 2012 Ninja Turtles cartoon that came out on Nickelodeon. I don't remember that particular theme song, um, which kind of sucks, because I remember it was a good one. Um, but it was fantastic. It combined elements from not only the old 80s cartoon and the 03 Ninja Turtles cartoon, but also the Mirage comics and the IDW comics. That's why I feel like the 2012 Ninja Turtles is probably the best animated incarnation of the Turtles that we've had so far. But that doesn't mean I can't get excited about this incarnation of the Ninja Turtles because they're teaming up with my boy... Batman, and you can see part of the poster, but most of it is obscured by my bookshelf. Huge Batman fan. I love the Ninja Turtles. I even, uh, you know, went to a con and got uh, Kelly Hugh, the voice of Karai, to um, autograph a picture for me because, oh my god, I love the Ninja Turtles so much. Like, they they've been a big part of my childhood. Like, you can't tell me I was the only one that ran around in a little red piece of cloth, with a little red piece of cloth around my head, uh, like, having those plastic sighs, like, yeah, I'm Raphael, because Raphael is best turtle, y'all can fight me on that one, like, I, I know everybody has their own personal favorite turtle, of course. The Mikey fans are pretty strong. There's tons of Mikey fans out there. Donnie is highly underrated, despite how cool he is. Um, especially in the 2012 one. I feel like 2012 Donnie really upped his game. Smooth Donatello! Stealing from 
uh, Black Nerd Comedy real quick. Uh, but Raph is my boy. Raph is my boy. Always. Mostly because, you know, as a kid, my logic was, my favorite color is red, so I'm going to go with the red one. That's usually how I chose my favorite Power Ranger, too. But, like, you know, as I grew up, Raphael just became my spirit animal because, you know, despite my outwardly, like, you know, positive, happy disposition, I am a very, very angry individual, and you, you do not want to see that. You don't want to see that. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. It's just, you know, you, you don't want to see when that anger is actually on full display. Uh, oh, oh boy. But, uh, back to the actual trailer, man. Like, this is what you need in a Ninja Turtles story. So you've got Batman and the Ninja Turtles crossing over. It doesn't look like it's like another dimension type thing because they didn't mention any kind of like portals or anything like that. It looks like they're just in a reality where Batman and the Ninja Turtles coexist and I guess New York and Gotham are two separate cities even though Gotham is kind of an amalgamation of New York and Chicago, you know, but that's neither here nor there. The important thing is that Shredder teams up with Ra's al Ghul, so we get to see the Foot and the League of Assassins team up. This would almost be as cool as the Foot teaming up with the Hand, but you know, we'll get, I don't think we'll get there because Marvel isn't that uh, crossover happy. Marvel is very stingy keeping them char their characters themselves. DC is willing to share the greatness with everyone. Um, not trying to like throw shade at Marvel. I love Marvel, but still, uh, just saying. Like, I've been waiting for a, a Ninja Turtles Daredevil crossover my entire life, and that still hasn't happened. Uh, but. Batman and Ninja Turtles, though, I'm really hyped to see Raish and the Shredder team up. You got to see Batman spar with the Turtles and pretty much own them. I know some people are going to have problems with Batman being able to handle all four Turtles, but you have to remember, all four Turtles are not Master Ninjas. They still haven't, like, fully mastered the craft yet. Batman is a master. Now, if Splinter was beaten by Batman, then I would have a problem. But, you know, having all four of the turtles get beat by Bruce, I don't see a problem there. Now, if Damien takes on, like, Leo and wins somehow, that's when we're gonna have some problems. But, like, you know, Bruce, I can definitely see being able to handle all of the turtles. And not only are we going to have, you know, uh, Raish and the Shredder team up, but we're also going to see the Joker thrown into this mix because marketing, right? Like, if you're going to have all this fan service, why not throw in the Joker because he is the most popular Batman villain out there and the Joker sells your merch. So... I get it. I'm not mad at it. In fact, you see this smile? I'm definitely excited about it. I just hope we get equally as much representation from the turtle side of things. Like, I, want, I would like to see Bebop and Rocksteady. Maybe even, like, Tiger Claw would be so cool. I mean, I know he's from, like, the 2012... Uh, Ninja Turtles uh, cartoon and the IDW comics, but Tiger Claw would be so cool given his like warrior spirit and his whole connection to like the you know the code of Bushido and like I would like to see Tiger Claw versus Batman. That would be awesome. Uh, like I said, Bebop and Rocksteady for just some fun comic relief. Um, you don't really need to throw everything out there, but I just want those two. In particular, that would be pretty awesome. Um, we see Joker with the TCRI canister. So, Joker and some mutagen. I'm pretty sure you know where this is going to go. And it's not going to end well for Gotham. But, the Turtles and Batman 
will be here to save the day. So we're good. We're going to be in for quite the ride. Alfred, I hope you have Batman's Bat card ready because you're going to be hitting up Pizza Hut a lot because those boys know how to put him away. Also, if they don't have a scene where they're eating pizza with all these weird random toppings, then I'm going to be a little upset as a fan. I'm not going to lie. Like, I know that's a small nitpick, but I am definitely going to be upset as a fan if they don't make the joke about the weird, disgusting pizza toppings that the turtles have on their pizza. So, uh, anyway... That's pretty much my thoughts on the trailer. As you can tell, I'm like a giddy little man-child here in this news. So, let me know all your thoughts and feels in the comments down below, as always. Also, don't forget, speaking of Batman, we have a huge giveaway going on revolving around Detective Comics issue number 1000. Since we managed to reach our big milestone of 1K subscribers, thanks to you lovely people in the universe. So, in order to say thank you, we are going to give you a free copy of Detective Comics issue number 1000 and possibly even an exclusive Funko Pop of The Batman Who Laughs. The only way to do this is by getting a friend or family member to subscribe to the channel and then leave a comment on this video or any of our other videos in between the time of the giveaway. Uh, you've got plenty of time until the issue comes out, so be sure to enter if you really want to win. But until next time, guys, uh, this is Dr. J uh, from Mr. J's Reviews for the Comic Universe. And until next time, hopefully I'll see you guys in the universe. Until then, peace. Cowabunga, dudes.